Thank you, President. My question is for the Minister for Mental Health, Minister Stitt. Australia's only specialist benzodiazepine dependency treatment centre is here in Victoria. Reconnection provides specialist services to treat, support and inform those dealing with withdrawal, anxiety, insomnia and depression. Reconnection's funding runs out in July. They will have to cut staff and this will increase wait times. This government has justified this cut based on safe script becoming embedded in the healthcare system, but this does not include the range of specialist services Reconnection does. So my question is, will the Minister commit to supporting the restoration of Reconnection's funding? Minister. Uh, thank you, President. I thank Ms Payne for her question. Uh, it's an important area and obviously the Victorian government uh, is committed to, in many ways, uh, reducing drug-related harm in our community. And, you know, we're proud of the fact that we have provided more than $376 million uh, for the next financial year for uh, many, many of our um, wonderful community organisations that provide support in this area. Uh, and the reconnection is a service of each and remains the only specialist service in Australia. It's been uh, continuously funded by the De Department of Health for 36 years. And I'd certainly like to take the opportunity um, to thank and acknowledge uh, all of the team at Reconnection for that important work. Um, uh, in terms of the particular program that you're talking about, um, that was a, a fixed-term funding arrangement that was provided for that organisation from 2019, uh, and it was associated with the implementation of the Safe Script um, system to meet an expected increased demand for support from the rollout of that initiative um, and additional funding provided to each for the reconnection program uh, was provided on that fixed term while we waited for the safe script system uh, to mature. Uh, we obviously continue to fund um, an important helpline service um, that is aimed at reducing drug-related drug harm in our community uh, such as the, the DACs and the direct line. Uh, and there's a further, obviously, with the announcement of our statewide uh, action plan, uh, a further $95.1 million that's been invested to reduce drug-related harms right across the community. Um, so um, it was a very specific uh, short-term uh, range of supports that were provided associated with the introduction of Safe Script. Ms Payne on supplementary. Thank you, President, and I thank the Minister for her response. Um, by way of supplementary, Reconnections program has highlighted a nationwide problem of benzodiazepines being prescribed for extended periods of time, often without warning about the risk of dependency. The Australian Institute of Health and Welfare reported that around 4.9 million benzodiazepine scripts were dispensed to 1.4 million patients since 2000, uh, 2021 and 22. This report also highlighted, highlighted that between 1997 and 2022, the rate of death where benzodiazepines was present rose from 1.9 per 100,000 population to 2.7. So will the minister advise what steps they are taking to address benzodiazepine dependency and reduce harm? Minister. Uh, thank you. And, and obviously, um, there is a, uh, a role here uh, for the federal government in terms of them being the primary funder of um, primary health services and GPs and um, education that is required for GPs to understand um, the importance of safe, safely prescribing. Um, so it's certainly something I'm happy to follow up with, uh, with my counterparts federally and in other jurisdictions. Um, but I think it's important to acknowledge that uh, as a state, we do continue to provide very substantial funding uh, and support programs that are about people um, reducing any drug-related harm, including prescription drugs. <laughs> 